Today, September the 9th, 2009, Atmel released MaxTouch, the next generation in touchscreen technology. In the next few minutes, we're going to show you how this will kickstart a whole new era. With MaxTouch, Atmel promises unlimited touch capability and the fastest response times, redefining touch user interfaces for the best possible user experience. They promise the lowest power consumption and cast iron robustness for the most enduring and reliable mobile performance. We too ask, how is this possible? Looking for answers, we took a trip to the Atmel Touch R&D facility. MaxTouch is a great new technology that lets customers use this advanced capacitive sensing methodology for all of their touch control applications. MaxTouch lets you sense unlimited numbers of touches on a single panel. This is really critically important for many applications. In addition, it's very immune to noise, is very robust in many kinds of sensing applications. In actual fact, it's quite a complicated task because you have to uh, classify each touch and track its motion around the screen so that you know which is touch zero and which is touch one, which is touch two, and uniquely be able to identify those as they move around the touch screen. So what we've done is optimize those algorithms so that it spends a minimal amount of time doing that processing to classify and track those touches only. So we can start to uh, see that we've got uh, fast response so the side effect is that we're still tracking very rapidly. Uh, we can do well over 100 hertz of uh, sampling with two touches, three touches, uh, and we're reporting messages back to the host only on events. Again, very important for power consumption. Without a doubt, MaxTouch is the most advanced capacitive touch chip on the planet. For the first time, incorporated into one piece of silicon are all the advances that we've made in the past 13 years, including cost reduction, reduction in the number of external components, high, num high node count, uh, noise filtering, uh, advanced signal processing techniques, gesture recognition, a number of things which are, have never been seen before in a single device. Next, I'd like to welcome Alf Bogan, Atmel's Vice President of Corporate Marketing, to the studio. Welcome, Alf. Thank you. How does MaxTouch differ from its competitors in terms of you know, your actual user experience, as it were? There are many elements with MaxTouch that actually improves the end product. One of them is, is battery lifetime. Mm -hmm. The power consumption of the, uh, of the MaxTouch technology is only 10% of some of the competitors. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and battery lifetime is something you experience every day with, <laughs> especially your cell phone. Uh, the other thing which I mentioned earlier also is the robustness. Mm. The, uh, the existing technologies like used in the, in the cell phones are more for indoor or use or office type of use, I would say. Oh, you want to get in the great outdoors? Yeah, you? and if you go outdoor <laughs> and cycling uh, and want to answer a call, for example, try it with a, with a glow on. So <laughs> I brought my bicycling glow just to, just to show just you. Just to demonstrate. <laughs> just to demonstrate. And if you look at the match truck technology, we have a demo board here from the lab. And you can see that you can put two fingers, three fingers. And I mean, you can see it always tracks all my fingers. I can put and I can put five and I can actually add as many fingers as I want. Of course, I knew you were going to bring in a demonstration glove, so I thought I'd catch you out and <laughs> I brought in a skiing mitten. Is it going to work with this as well? <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> uh, let's try it. Let's try it on. Uh, I think the, uh, let's see, yeah, we have one, two fingers, three fingers. It even tracks my uh, my pattern here when I'm moving my hand that's around. So that's quite works amazing. This one. Quite amazing because you, I don't know how many touches you must have had on the screen there because you've got a big mitten on this. You, know, you haven't just got single points there. No, that brings up a very important thing too, and that's the unlimited touch capability, and uh, the fact that we can track uh, and uh, as many touches as you you want to put onto the screen or onto the surface, and we can actually in the advanced algorithms we can suppress unintended touches and actually okay. detect what's the intended touch you wanted to, to, to put uh, there. Well what's the big benefit of suppressing these unintended touches? Now one thing is, I mean you saw it with, with this one on. Otherwise you get a uh, mess, yeah. <laughs> but other thing is that when you're holding a phone, you grab it with your hand so you have touches around the edges of the yeah, phone. Yeah. When you put it next to your, your face, you will actually touch your face as well. Mm. And so there are many type of unintended touches that you need to... Uh, to and also yeah, I think you have probably answered calls many times uh, without knowing it and you have been doing calls without knowing it. 
Yeah. So Phantom uh, ringing from the pockets and so yeah, forth. So unlimited yeah, yeah. touch is a really a key parameter yeah. of the MaxTouch technology. We learned from the video about the extremely fast response time to MaxTouch. But what are the actual benefits of this to end users? Without being too technical, uh, the power consumption, the low power consumption, is also a result of uh, fast response time. How come? We can scan the, uh, the surface much quicker, so that the processor and the system can go into sleep much quicker. I see. But mm -hmm. when you need the, the performance, like when you, for example, it's going to read a stylus, which requires a very detailed reading, mm -hmm. and actually it also moves very quickly, the today's technologies have very much problems with reading styluses. With the MaxTouch technology, you can actually read a stylus like this, so you can actually draw on the screen, you can sign it, you can draw Asian characters, which okay. can be recognized, and that's a huge benefit. And that's something which can't be done today? That's correct. It's very hard with many of the today's technologies. So the other important thing, too, is that many people have longer nails, and uh, this one can actually recognize nails, and you can actually draw many different uh, patterns with, with your fingers or nails. So, and that's a result of the fast response, and that we can read the screen very, very precise. Fantastic. We've talked quite a lot about end-user benefits now, but end-users aren't actually Atmel's customers. They're the product developers and designers. What makes Max Touch attractive to them? We have talked about some of the end-user benefits, which is, of course, attractive to the designer as well, who actually want to make products that the end-user want to buy. Uh, from a designer's perspective, another important element, too, is the size of it and the way it integrates into any type of applications, the cell phones, MP3 players, washing machine, or any industri industrial application as well. If you look at this, the whole technology is built into a 5 by 5 millimeter ship, wow. and it's like, it's like 0 0.6 millimeter thick. You can take it if you want to. And this ship basically reads the sensor elements. It has a microprocessor built in that actually filters the intended touches from the unintended touches. It can actually also recognize gestures on the screen, and it can also recognize that you are uh, what we call proximity when you get closer to the screen. So you don't even need to touch it. It will sense that something is getting close to it. So for example, a cell phone in the dark, when you reach for it, it can actually turn on the light before you actually, actually hit it. Yeah. So what's the size of this in comparison with competitors' products? I think if you look into the market today, in addition to that, uh, for, for more technology, you will need maybe two external components, very, very tiny ones, much, much mm. smaller than this. Uh, competitive solutions we have seen, actually recently launched, has 30 external components. So in terms of board space that you would need, it's at least 10 times bigger. So, so this one saves you a lot of space. And also, uh, because the system, the number of components gets low, the system cost is also much more attractive to the designer. Without getting too carried away, I guess you're feeling pretty optimistic about the future. This is one of the product launches we have been looking forward to, and I think this will be very, very good for us in the future, yes. Well, I wish you every success with it. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very Thank much. You.